my name is Cameron and welcome back to my channel Which Way to Wicked where we talk about all things love, light, and especially tarot. So guys, today we are going to be doing a fun, fun reading today as we find out what people are realizing about you. So this reading is going to be separated into two different parts. For the first part, we're going to be taking a look at how people first saw you, what their first thoughts of you were. And then for the second part of this reading, we're going to be taking a look at how they see you now, what they're realizing out about you now. Okay, so without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at your group picks, okay? So for group number one, we have this cute little thingy-mabob. <laughs> it's a little knob. It actually came off of this, guys, <laughs> but it's really cute. So that's group number one. For group number two, we have this birthday candle that is the number two. <laughs> I thought that was fitting for group number two. And then last but not least for group number three, we have this pretty rose quartz crystal. So guys, I want you to go ahead and take a very big deep breath in. And now I want you to please let it out. And now I want you to close your eyes. And as you close your eyes, I want you to think about what people's first impression of you was, what they first thought about you. And now I want you to think about what people are realizing about you now as they get to know you. Now, whenever you feel ready, please open your eyes and whichever object your eyes lands on first, then that, my dear, is going to be the reading for you today. Now, if you feel called to more than one object here, then definitely feel free to check out those extra messages as well. And as always, I will have the timestamps listed down in the description box below. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into your reading today, friends. Hello, group number one. So if you felt called to this little pretty knob here, then hey, hello, how are y'all? And welcome to this fabulous side of Tarot Tube. So I'm gonna go ahead and just place this off to the side and let's go ahead and start shuffling your cards. So like I said before, this reading is going to be separated into two different tarot parts. For the first part of this reading, we're gonna be taking a look at what people's first and impression of you was and then for the second part of the reading we'll be taking a look at what they are realizing about you now as they get to know you so I do have to go ahead and plug in my channel really quick if you don't mind um so if you happen to like my vibes if you do happen to like this reading today and you want to see more videos like this then please make sure to give me a really big like and to subscribe to my channel because I post new videos every Monday and Friday so let's go ahead and hop into this for group one can we get some messages please for group one what did people first think about my group one folks when they first met them what were their first impressions please so for some reason I'm thinking of smog the desolation of smog I think that's from um, the Hobbit that I think that's the third Hobbit movie if I'm correct um, that's by J.R.R. Martin, I believe. No, that's a Tolkien. It's a Tolkien film. So the desolation of smog. That's what people first thought when they saw you. <laughs> now, smog, he is like some type of big creature. I think he's a dragon. And so for people to first think about that whenever they meet you, I'm kind of getting the idea that you could definitely be a fire sign, sun, moon, rising, or in Venus. So I am talking about Aries, Leo, and uh, what's my other one? Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So if you're not one of those signs, that's fine. But just going off of that energy, I definitely think you are someone who seems very bold. You seem very fierce. You seem like someone who cannot and should not be trifled with. And so people are very intimidated by you when they first meet you. And they might even be a little scared of you as well. They just feel like 
you're someone who will snap back at them, right? If they say something that's rude or that you don't like, that you find to be offensive, you will say something and they will not like what you say, okay? Some hands will be thrown if need be. Now this is what people think about you. That doesn't mean that's what you are, okay? That doesn't mean that's your exact personality. So if you're watching this and you're saying like, what are you talking about? I am not some crazy fierce dragon. I'm not gonna bite someone's hand off for saying something to me. This is how people view you, okay? So just take that, take it as it resonates, okay? But let's go ahead and see what wants to come through. So Spirit, can we get some extra messages, please? What wants to come through for group one? What are their first impressions? People's first impressions of my group one folks. Okay. What are people's first impressions of my group one folks? Okay. Ah! Guys, we have so many cards coming out. Okay. So this card landed face down. So I'm just going to put that back in the deck. Ooh, for the back of the deck energy, we do have the lovers, which does represent the Gemini sign. So you could also be a Gemini. But this is a really awesome to see right away. I think that people are romantically interested in you because that does talk about like finding your match. That talks about finding someone who is just absolutely perfect for you. This also is a card of communication. So you could be a really great communicator or that could just be talking about how people just really want to talk to you. Because honestly, I am getting kind of more of a quieter vibe to you, which is very interesting. So, I think when people first meet you, like I was saying, they feel like you are someone who might snap at them. They feel like you are definitely someone who's very fierce, but they also see you as someone who is quite quiet, okay? So, that's very, it's almost like you're a snake right? Whenever you see a snake, they're very quiet. They're very, very quiet. They slither around. A lot of the times you don't really notice them at first, if that makes any sense. Um, they're able to camouflage with their environment. But if you make them mad, if they feel threatened, they will attack. And that's kind of the same vibe that I'm getting from you. But at the same time, I do think that it's hard for you to hide it's hard for you to camouflage yourself within the environment because I do think that you do stand out for sure, especially with that lover's card coming through. So yeah, when people first meet you, when they first talk to you, they see you as someone who's kind of quiet, who's more on the shyer side, or maybe you just like to keep more to yourself, and they also see you as someone who will bite them. You will bite them with your words if they were to threaten you, okay? Let's talk about more of these cards that are coming through. We've got the Knight of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, the Five of Cups, and we also have the Ace of Pentacles. So with the Five of Cups card coming through, this is interesting because this does talk about being kind of upset about something. Um, so, I don't know. You might... <sighs> You might just have like a resting V face if I'm being honest and maybe that's why people think that you would threaten them and yell at them if they were to get you angry because you just seem like someone who even if they're more on the quieter side like you seem angry all the time. You seem like you are upset and so people feel like because of your resting V face that you will go off on them if they make you angry. So that's definitely coming through. So yeah, people feel like they have to walk on their toes around you. That's definitely what's coming through when they first meet you. Um, with the Knight of Pentacles coming through and the Ace of Pentacles, this is talking about Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. So you could be one of those signs. Guys, I know I'm throwing a lot of signs out there, but this is a very general reading. So I am reading for a lot of different people out there. So yeah, just take it as it resonates. But with this coming through, you also give off the vibes that you are very ambitious. You're a very hard worker. So people do get the impression of you uh, that you are, again, very hardworking. You're very studious when you need to be. You're someone who will always stay after work to pick up extra hours 
you just work hard. You work harder than anyone else, and that's definitely what I'm seeing. And you just seem like someone who doesn't like to take a lot of breaks as well, because with the Four of Swords coming through, that usually does talk about resting. And I just feel like people get the idea that you don't do enough resting. They feel like you're always just thinking about the future. You have your eye on the prize. You're always focusing on what you need to what you need to do next and so people do get the idea that you're such a hard worker you're such a workhorse that you run the risk of burning out to succeed to uh, try to achieve your goals so yeah that's kind of what I'm seeing so far again what's interesting is that with the four of swords there's two birds uh, standing on top of these swords and they're, they look like they're talking to each other and I'm just getting the idea that again people People really want to talk to you. They really want to get to know you more. Again, this is a card of communication. And so I'm getting the idea that you don't talk a lot to people. You're not super sociable. That doesn't mean that you can't be sociable, but people get the vibe that you're not very sociable, uh, that you'll only talk if it's necessary. And so because of that, they want to be able to talk to you more. They want to be able to get to know you better. And I think that whenever you do talk, you sound very intelligent, you sound very analytical, or excuse me, not analytical, you just sound intelligent. You sound like you know what you're talking about. You speak very clearly, and so people do feel like you're a great communicator as well. You do give off the vibe that you are just very smart, very smart, and you have a good head on your shoulders. But again, you do seem like someone who's kind of scary, who's kind of intimidating. And so people also get that vibe as well. But let's go ahead and see what else wants to come through here. So Spirit, what are people realizing about them now? What are people realizing about them now, about my group one folks now? As they get to know them, what are people realizing about them? Can we get some messages, please? What are people realizing about them? What are people realizing about them? Let's get one more card. Okay, you guys. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. That is so interesting. So we have the Four of Cups coming through. We have the Fool. And we also have the Ten of Wands. So, guys, I'm actually getting two different messages from the Four of Cups. So... Alongside the Ten of Wands, the Ten of Wands talks about taking on so many burdens. It talks about working really hard, taking on so many extra responsibilities, whether that be at work or at the home, um, or like, you know, just taking on extra responsibilities by trying to help your friends or things like that. And so people, I feel like they were really on to something whenever they first got the vibe that you were a very hard worker, right? When they first met you, they really thought that you might be someone who worked so much that you might start to burn out. And well, I think that what they're realizing about you is that their first impression of you, at least when it comes to that, is very true. It's very on the ball. They feel like you are someone who is also always there to help people as well. So not only are you someone who who works really, really hard when it comes to your job and it comes to your schooling here, but people also feel like you genuinely care about your family and, and your friends. And like I said before, you do seem like someone who's very quiet um, and that you keep to yourself, right? But people are starting to realize as they get to know you that for the friends that you do have, for the people who you do count as being in your inner circle, you would do absolutely anything for them. That's what I'm seeing here with the the bird, you know, trying to cover this girl here. He looks like he's just trying to shade her, put her in some shade, right? Because the girl looks kind of sad, so I just get the idea that, that 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 bird is trying to make her feel better. That is kind of how people see you. When it comes to your friends and your family members, you are someone who is very caring. You care about them so much and you love them so much. And people find that to be absolutely amazing. They find that to be absolutely incredible. And I'm also getting this idea that people, they want to do that same thing to you. I think that the people who know you, they want to take care of you for a change because they feel like you're always out there doing the most, always out there helping other people. They're just thinking like, oh my gosh, you need to take a break. And 
they're thinking how they just want to help you out so I think that's really cute to see I really like that um, and then we also have the full card coming through <laughs> so that's actually quite in interesting so <laughs> this talks about someone who's very brave this talks about someone who's very brave who is quite risky they like to take chances and so I think that people are realizing that even though you are someone who is very motivated about your work even though you're very motivated to try to do the most in your schooling and things like that they do also see you as someone who outside of work is more of a risk taker and maybe even in work as well you could be a risk taker I just think that people are realizing that you are someone who is willing to take risks you're able to take that blind leap and to try new things in order to accomplish what you want to accomplish within your job within your life here and I think beyond that people might also be realizing that you seem like someone who is quite a daredevil okay I think people get the idea even if they don't know you that well outside of work and the reason why I'm talking about work and school so much is because I do feel like most of the people who you interact with are people who you work with it's people who you go to school with I think that you do have your friends, you do have your family members, but whenever we're talking about people, like what people are realizing about you, Spirit wants me to focus more on people who you go to work with or who you go to school with, okay? So these people, even if they don't know you personally and they don't know what you do outside of work, outside of school, they are starting to think, they're getting the impression that you could be someone who is a risk taker, a bit of a daredevil. And I think that there are like people going around work or school saying like, oh, I bet this girl or boy or they them likes to ride motorcycles or likes to go bungee jumping or do all these crazy things. People feel like you might be a bit of an adrenaline junkie. So that's kind of interesting to see. I like that. <laughs> that's really cool. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing so far. Let's go ahead and move on and let's take a look at your extra messages here. And again, I am just seeing a bit of tenderness. Like that is what I'm thinking of, tenderness. I think that people they're realizing just how tender you are, right? Because whenever we were first talking about your person, like I was saying before, I was saying how people saw you as someone who might bite their hand off if you if they make you angry. Now that's not to say that you're not like that, that you won't do those things, but people also see that you have a tender side, that you do care about others, especially people who you love, especially people who you count as being your closest companions. You will do anything for them and people realize that about you and they find that to be really sweet. They really like that and literally as we're talking about that we have soothe coming through so yeah you are a tender person you are a soothing person which is very interesting we have lighting the way yeah and queen radiates the regal feminine uses her benevolent authority to protect others okay so yeah this makes a lot of sense I think that people are starting to realize that you care so much about people again you will do anything for them and you will protect them no matter what i think that you probably have protected a lot of people at work a lot of people at school if you see anyone being taken advantage of that is whenever you will bite them not the people being taken advantage of but the people who are doing the taken advantage of does that make sense for the people who are being rude to others for the bully you will go up to them and say something to them you will bite their hand off with your words you will let that uh, dragon come out that smogness of yours come out and you will throw some flames at them throw some hands you will get mad at them so yeah people are afraid of you but they're realizing as they get to know you they don't have anything to be afraid of when it comes to you unless they themselves are being rude to others because you're just the type of person who people realize you won't just be mean to anyone you won't just yell at anyone like you will only yell at people and be rude to people 
who deserve it, okay? And so, yeah, I think that people are just realizing that you have such a strong protect protective streak and that you will do anything for anyone. You will help people who are being taken advantage of, people who are being bullied, you will stand up for them. And I think that at the same time, you are also someone who, if you see a stranger that's upset, if you see someone at work who looks sad, you will go up to them and talk to them. And yes, I think that at the same time, people realize that you're more of a quieter person, that you keep more to yourself. But whenever you see people sad or upset, you are someone who will go up to them and try to soothe them with your words, with your presence. You will be there for them. You just care about not just your family and friends, but you care about everyone. You love everyone. You genuinely want people to be happy and you will go out of your way to try to help people who are sad or upset and that's what people real are realizing about you. They just realize that you are such a caring, caring, empathetic individual and they also realize that you can be quite scary when it comes to bullies, when it comes to mean people, you will say something to them. You'll, you will be the first one to say something to them. So yeah, you're just a queen. You're a queen, and that's what people are realizing about you. You're a freaking queen, babe. So, yes, you guys, that is what I'm seeing for you today. I hope that you have enjoyed this reading, and if you did, then please make sure to give me a really big like and to subscribe to my channel because I post new videos every Monday and every Friday, and I would love to have you stop by the side of Terra Team again sometime, okay? So I love you all so much, and I hope that you have a beautiful rest of your day, friends. Mwah. Bye, guys. Hello, group two. So if you felt called to this number two birthday candle today, then hey, hello, how are y'all? And welcome to this fabulous set of tarot tube. So I'm gonna go ahead and just place this off to the side and let's start shuffling through your cards. So again, I do wanna remind you that this reading today is going to be separated into two different tarot portions. So for the first portion of this uh, video, we are going to be talking about what people's first impression and thoughts of you were whenever they first met you. And then for the second part of this tarot portion, we are going to be taking a look at how they see you now, what they're realizing about you. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Spirit, can we get some messages please for group one? What were people's first impression of my group one folks? What did people first think about them? Okay, alrighty. We have a few cards coming through. So this is interesting. For the back of the deck energy, we have the two of swords coming through. And you can see here that this wo this woman here, or this guy, we don't know what gender this person is, um, they have two different masks, right? And it looks as though they're trying to figure out what mask they need to wear today. And then going off of that, we have the Ten of Cups coming through and the Hermit. Now, these two cards give me so many, like, different vibes. The Hermit card, this does talk about Virgo energy, so you could be a Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or in Venus. You don't have to be. But this Virgo card talks about someone, or excuse me, this Hermit card talks about someone who likes to be on their own. They thrive on their own. This is someone who uh, probably spends a lot, a lot of time at their house or I don't know maybe at a coffee shop just completely happy just doing their own thing okay this also talks about someone who's very wise very knowledgeable now on the other side the ten of cups this talks about someone who thrives being around their family members being around their friends who feel like family this is someone who is very caring who just loves to hug people and love on people and just make them feel so good and happy they they just care so much about others okay and so i think when people first meet you they are quite confused by you because i think that when people first meet you they get hints of this hermit card coming through you you seem, on one hand, you seem like someone who likes to be on their own, who may not have the biggest social uh, social battery. You prefer to be more introverted. You would prefer to be the one that reads a book during a party, right? 
rather than socialize with everyone else. But then on the other hand, people also get the idea that even though you're kind of introverted, you also are a bit extroverted. You, um, and one second you can be more to yourself, but then the next second you're talking to other people, you're hugging on people, you're being very nice and very sweet and very sociable. And so yeah, people are just very confused. They don't know what to think when they first see you because they can't tell if you're this hermit person or if you're this person who is all about friends and family members and just, you know, being there with everyone and making everyone feel good, right? So that's very, interesting and then at the end of the day we also have the three of pentacles coming through this talks about someone who believes in working together okay this is someone who likes to help people at work who likes to make sure that everyone understands what's going on at school and so yeah i i'm just hearing the words teamwork makes a dream work and so people do feel like um whether you're more introverted or you like to talk a whole lot, people do feel like no matter what, whenever they first meet you, that you're all about teamwork, you like to help other people, and you are just someone who people feel like they can come to if they also need a helping hand as well. If they need someone to help them, you're the person who they feel like they could call. Okay, so that is what I'm seeing so far. Let's go ahead and move on and let's see what they're are realizing about you now so spirit can we get some messages please for group for group two what are people realizing about them now as they get to know them for my group two folks spirit what are people realizing about them now Ooh, that's interesting spirit for group two can we get a message Okay. Ooh, for the back of the deck energy, we have the Knight of Wands. So that does make me think about fire signs. So you could be a fire sign, sun, moon, rising, or in Venus. So I'm talking about Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. But what are people realizing about you now, group two? Well, we have the Eight of Swords coming through. We also have the Nine of Cups. And then we have the five of cups. So I think that people do realize that you are someone who tends to hold back a lot whenever it comes to whenever it comes to people who you are first meeting. I think that you almost do kind of wear a mask around people. You tend to hide who you really are. And the person who you really are is this fiery, passionate Knight of Wands person. I mean, whenever we see the Knight of Wands card, this talks about someone who is very risky, very bold. This is someone who is all action. And this is also someone who likes to have a good time. They like to party. They like to go out and drink or eat really yummy food, just do things that make them happy. and. We also have the Nine of Cups coming through, and that literally talks about all of those things. The Nine of Cups talks about doing things that make you feel good, being a bit more hedonistic. So again, with hedonism comes drinking, it comes eating, it comes with eating good food, it comes with just having a good time and making yourself feel good, spending a lot of money on yourself and stuff like that. And so I think that at the end of the day, people are realizing that whenever you first meet them, whenever you first meet others, you wear this mask and it's kind of like you put yourself in a cage, right? You put yourself in a cage by pretending to be something that you're not. But as people get to know you, they start to see this riskier, bolder, feistier side to you. And that's just very interesting. That's very interesting. With the Five of Cups coming through, I think I want to go ahead and clarify that card. So, Spirit, will you clarify the Five of Cups? Ooh, what is this talking about? Ooh, okay, guys. Alrighty. So, the Five of Cups. This talks about having things in your future that you can be excited about, but you're so focused on the past 
that you can't appreciate the present. And what's interesting is that we have the Three of Swords. The Three of Swords talks about someone who has been hurt before, especially in love and relationships and friendships. And so I think what people are really realizing about you is that the reason why you wear this type of mask, the reason why you try to hide bits and pieces of yourself whenever you first meet new people is because they feel like you're trying to protect yourself. You're trying to protect your heart because I think in the past, and this is what these people think, they feel like you used to be more out there. You used to be more of a social butterfly. You used to be more riskier in the way that you would talk about your feelings, talk about um, what you thought and you would rush into relationships head on because you were just a passionate, passionate individual. But because you rushed into relationships like this, because you were so, you burned so bright and you ran into these new connections and you threw your heart out there, you wore your heart on your sleeve, they think that you got burned. They think that you got your heart broken. And so that has caused you to kind of pull back a bit. That's caused you to withdraw and to try to, on one hand, be a bit more isolated. You tend to spend more time on your own because you're afraid of meeting new people and then starting to open up to them and show them this this riskier side of you, this, this side of you, this knight of wands side of you who it's all about being bold and passionate and just listening to their heart, right? You're afraid to show these this side to you because you're afraid to open up to someone and trust someone new, okay? So that's kind of like what I'm seeing here. That's what people are realizing. They're realizing that you've been hurt before and because of that, you tend to withdraw, you tend to hide bits and pieces of yourself because you're afraid that as you open up and trust people, as you show them this other side to you, this fiercer, bolder, more passionate side to you, you're f they feel like you're afraid that you will end up getting hurt again. So that is so, so interesting to see. So let's go ahead and move on. Spirit, can we get some extra messages for group two? What are people realizing about them now? Yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. Let's see what else wants to come through. That is so funny for group two. Group two spirit, one more card. Ooh, there we go. Alrighty, group two. What are people realizing about you now? Yeah, look at this. Bad dragon. I think that you are this bad dragon here in this scenario. I think that, again, in the past, you were this like daredevil of a person. You were someone who wore your heart on your sleeve. You rushed into relationships and new connections like a dragon, right? Like how a dragon would fly into the chaos, like that was you. You were just very bold. You wore your heart on your sleeve. You trusted people. But after getting your heart broken, you decided to kind of pull in on yourself a bit more, to focus on trying to put on a bit of a front. And I think that there's also this energy here where people realize that since you got hurt in your relationships and maybe even in a friendship or something, you decided to stop focusing so much on your rela relationships and to start focusing more on something that wouldn't hurt you, like school, like work. And that's kind of what I'm getting here with the pentacles energy coming through with the three of pentacles. Because anytime we have pentacles, that talks about your job, that talks about your finances, your schooling here. So yeah, people are realizing that after getting hurt in love, you decided to focus more on your schooling, on your your job here, because again, you realize that that wouldn't hurt you like people would hurt you. And we also have Seeker, which says a thirst for wisdom and truth wherever they are. And so I do think that 
there is this energy where you're trying to learn more about yourself as well. You're just trying to expand yourself and grow and evolve. And so people do feel like you are going on this type of inner journey. You're doing a lot of inner soul work right now. And that's what people are realizing about you. And so I am getting the idea that maybe people think that you don't necessarily want to be in any relationship right now. And it's not that you're not ready to be in a new relationship. It's just that you don't really want to be in a new relationship. At least that's what people think about you. Does that make sense? So yeah, they know you've been hurt before and that you pull back, right? But they think that you've been doing this type of soul work where you might be ready to open up and be in a new connection and wear your heart on, on your sleeve again. But at the same time, you just don't want to. People feel like you would rather focus on yourself and focus on trying to do some inner soul work before you even think about being in a new relationship or having too many new friendships. Does that make sense? So yeah, you guys, at the end of the day, that's what I'm seeing for you today. That is what people are realizing about you. If you enjoyed this reading, then please make sure to give me a big like and to subscribe to my channel because I post new videos every Monday and every Friday. And I would love to have you stop by the side of TerraTube again sometime, okay? So I love you all so much and I hope that you have an incredible rest of your day, friends. Mwah! Bye guys. Hello group three. So if you felt called to this lovely rose quartz crystal today, then hey, hello, how are you? And welcome to this fabulous set of tarot tube. So I'm gonna go ahead and just place this off to the side. And I do wanna let you guys know before getting into this reading, um, I just wanna remind you, this is going to be separated into two different parts. So for the first part of this reading, we're going to be pulling some tarot cards to represent what people first thought about you whenever they met you for the first time. And then after that, for the second part of the reading, we're going to be looking at what they are realizing about you now, okay? So I do also have to go ahead and plug in my channel. If you do happen to like this reading, if you like my vibes, then please make sure to give me a big like. Give this video a big like and maybe subscribe to my channel because I would love to have you be a part of my tarot tube family but anyways let's see what wants to come through we already had cards making an appearance we have the ten of pentacles so this is talking about what people first thought about you so spirit for group three can we get some messages please for group three what do people first think about my group three folks can we get some messages please Okay, wow. Okay, this is very interesting. So, like I said, we have the Ten of Pentacles, we have the Tower, and we also have the Eight of Swords. So I definitely think the impression that people first get from you is that you seem like someone who has gone through some type of traumatic upheaval in your life. Now, I'm thinking that this traumatic upheaval could have come from your family life or at least that's what that's what people think right they feel like they feel like your trauma came from your home life so maybe you didn't have the best parents growing up maybe you grew up in the foster care system I don't know what it was maybe you just had to grow up really quickly because your parents both had to work and you were home alone a lot trying to help take care of your your siblings um but yeah for some reason or another people feel like you have gone through a lot of crap okay i'm even hearing that for some of you guys people feel like maybe you could have been homeless now i don't know how people get that impression from you by meeting you one time <laughs> but yeah they kind of think that maybe you could have been homeless at some point I don't know but at the end of the day they feel like you have gone through some some ish okay you've gone through some ish and because of that you are someone who seems to like to do things very carefully 
you seem like a very cautious person and people think the reason why you're very cautious why you like to be very careful it's because you just don't want to be hurt again and so I think that you like to play it safe in every in every area of your life and again this is what people think about you when they first meet you they think that you play it safe they think that you have gone through some harrowing experience and because of that this is why you are like this and so that doesn't mean that you have to be like that does that make sense so you might be watching this and you might be saying like oh Cameron I don't know what you're talking about I grew up in the best home I was never homeless I don't like to play it safe this is what people think about you okay that doesn't mean that's what you really are this is the first impression people get of you okay and they just get the idea that you like to play it safe you like to play it safe you don't want to do anything too risky because you don't want to end up homeless you don't want to end up out on the street you don't want to end up in a bad situation again okay so yeah that's what I'm seeing so far let's go ahead and move on let's see what else wants to come through here spirit for group three what are people realizing about them now as they get to know them for group three? Okay. Ooh. So that's interesting. Okay. We have the magician card coming through. And the magician, I do believe that this talks about Virgo energy virgo and gemini energy we have the nine of swords and then we have the two of pentacles now guys again talking about that magician card this is really interesting because the magician talks about realizing how much potential you have and it talks about being able to see things in such a magical way it talks about having such a beautiful outlook on life and just seeing the best not only in yourself but in other people as well and so going off of that the two of pentacles also talks about being able to balance and being able to handle things very gracefully and that is just a very beautiful vibe to see so i'm kind of getting the idea that people are realizing whether or not you have gone through a traumatic backstory or not whether or not you have been homeless before or whatever people are realizing that what they thought about you before is so wrong in the way that you do have a very positive outlook on life you have a very positive outlook and i think that before when people first met you they thought that you had quite the opposite outlook on life they saw you as someone who who was negative who had a harder life and because of that you you just kind of closed yourself off to things and you didn't see the magic in the world anymore and that's what made you want to play things very safe because you thought that everything was a danger to you does that make sense but as people get to know you they realize that you are so different from what they first thought they realize that you are able to still believe that everything will be beautiful in the end. You are someone who believes in happily ever afters, okay? And it doesn't matter if you've had some harder times in your past or not. That was the beginning of your story. You believe that in the end, you will have a happily ever after. You believe in magic. You believe that anything is possible and people are starting to realize that as they get to know you now that's not to say that you don't have some things that you have to work through that's not to say that you don't have some anxiety some worries that plague you because i think that people do think that you go through some personal demons on the daily that's what i'm seeing here with the nine of swords the nine of swords talks about having so much anxiety that it keeps you up at night and so people do feel like and they realize that you are 
someone who might have to deal with anxiety on a regular basis. You might have to deal with some negative thoughts that might pass through your mind every now and then, but at the end of the day, you won't let those moments of negativity, you won't let those personal demons, those those anxiety-filled thoughts keep you down for long. No, instead, you will be able to find that balance and you will be able to just get past it and replace all of those negative thoughts, all of those anxieties, all those personal demons with beautiful energy, beautiful vibes, with, with beautiful affirmations. You are just someone who replaces all the negativity with positivity. You are just a magical person and people are realizing just how strong you are because you are someone who can go through so much ish and yet you're able to get up and put on your happy face and you're able to see that even though you've gone through a lot of bad crap and even though you might be going through bad crap right now, you know that in the end you will get your happily ever after. You believe in happily ever afters and because of that you're, you're able to replace any negativity with positivity and people love that. They feel like you handle things so well, so extraordinarily well and they really do look up to you. They respect you so much as a person because there's not a lot of people who can go through a lot of anxiety, who can battle their personal demons and yet still believe that everything will be okay, that they will get their happily ever after. There's so many people that go through harder times and because of that they become a harder person and they close themselves off to new beginnings and new ideas and yet here you are. Here you are and I do think that you do open yourself up to new ideas. You do try out new things and people see that about you as they get to know you. And I just think that that's really beautiful. And I think that people think that that's really beautiful. So let's get some final messages. Yeah, guys, literally, what was I saying? Wasn't I saying how magical of a person you are and how people are able to see and realize how magical you are? We literally have magic fish. Can you see that? Do you see that? It says magic fish. That is amazing. And I love that. So yeah, you're just a magical person. You are a magical, oh my gosh. Guys, we literally have child orphan coming through and it says independence based on learning to go it alone, conquering fear of surviving. Yeah, oh my gosh, you guys, I really think that you went through something in your past. People think that you went, you've gone through something in your past. People feel like you could have been an orphan. You could have been, you could have been someone who grew up in the adoption, um, in like an adoption agency or something like that, right? You could have been someone who, whose parents just weren't really in the picture, or maybe they were there, maybe your parents were there, but maybe they drank a lot or they worked a lot and something kept them from being there with you. Okay, you didn't get that type of love that you deserve to have, but instead of allowing that to just completely break you, people are realizing that every day you are healing yourself. That is what I'm seeing with the healing card. Every day you wake up and even though you might be sad about your past, you're still able to think about the future and people feel like you are just always being so positive towards yourself, so kind to yourself. And it's almost like you are your own motivator, okay? You motivate yourself to get back up and keep on going every single day. And so yeah, it's almost like every day you are healing yourself. You are healing yourself, you're letting go of the past so that you can live in the present and be excited about the future. And people find that to be so amazing. They find you to be so incredibly strong, but also incredibly soft as well, because people do feel like you are just a a kind individual even though your parents or maybe parent figures or guardian figures even though people weren't kind to you or loving towards you in the past you are still a loving person towards other people as well you're still so kind and so sweet and so empathetic and people find that to be so amazing so yes you guys people just love y'all <laughs> if I do say so myself people love y'all so yeah 
that's what I'm seeing for you today. I hope that you have enjoyed this reading and if you did then please make sure to give me a really big like and to subscribe to my channel because I post new videos every Monday and every Friday and I would love to have you stop by this side of TerraTube again sometime, okay? So I love you all so much and I hope that you have an incredible rest of your day, friends. Mwah. Bye, guys.